President of the UTEC academic staff, Lieber Langley, confirmed that the stalemate remains and with no intervention, it will not change. The union is adamant that its 500 members will remain off the job until they receive retroactive salaries. However, the government on Tuesday indicated by letter that it does not have the money to pay at this time. Mr. Langley has acknowledged that UTEC students are being impacted by the strike, but says the employees will maintain their hardline approach. It simply means that the academic staff continues and the primary stakeholders are being affected, but equally being affected are the stakeholders who are the academic staff here at the institution. And we have no option that has been given to us. And so we will have to maintain our current action. And despite the standoff, Mr. Langley says the union is still open to intervention. Any intervention that brings that kind of, of, of appreciation to the table would certainly be welcome. Because what is happening is, is complete and utter nonsense. Meaning that it seems as if nobody is able to keep their word. You can't stand an agreement. You can't put a proposal on the table. And then mid-scheme, you take it off and say, and, and say, oh, we don't have funds to commit. Then why did you put the proposal on the table? And why did you make a commitment by making the first payment? Sandy Williams, Frontline News.